Welcome back, everyone. We're here at the South Florida Open. This is the back nine of the FPO division. We're here at Snyder Park in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm Sarah Holcomb here with Kim Hatcher. Morgan, especially, is shooting a five out of nine, also right on my tail. This back nine's definitely scorable. And on this card, we have Ellen Widboom, Kristen Nauer, myself, and Jessica Weiss. We got hole 10, par three, 256 feet. It is a hard left turn, about maybe 120 feet down the fairway, hard left, and then it has a bunch of guardian treats surrounding the basket. Definitely a hard birdie hole, but definitely doable. Yeah, I feel like everybody has a distance for this. It's just a matter of hitting that line. It's an extreme angle, whether you throw a righty or lefty. And there's also a highway right by it. So that's what you hear in the background. <laughs> and the airport. Yeah, this is a, a relay. What made you want to go forehand here, not backhand? The gap. I'm not wanting to shank it somewhere. I threw it back in practice and I was able to get to the pin, but it seemed like that the high percentage shot was the sidearm for me. If I trusted my backhand more, I would throw the backhand. So it's obviously just 50 50 backhand. Ellen also more confident in her backhand than me. She sneaks through. Comes up a little short still though. And then Kristen doesn't have the sidearm, so she's gonna have to throw the difficult turnover. Hits the first available trees on the left. She'll still be able to get up and down for her par. Yeah, it's Harry though. Another turnover from a patent pending position. Just comes out of her hand a tad bit early. Puts her in the right rough, but she is within 100 feet of the basket now. Looking for a little flick out of the woods. A lot That'll of work. Play. That'll work. Great up. Tough hole. This is one of those that if you don't get off the tee very well, it's actually I think it's pretty hard to save your car. And Jess, Ooh. run with her Sonic. Mm -hmm. If you see that disc that floats for too long, that's that one. She's been working that one in for a minute. Ellen with a birdie look. Highs are around yeah. the tree. Great putt right there. Yeah. Woo -woo. And a little shout out to the cameraman right there. Yeah. Let's check this back with a run back. Full wow. body motion into that one. I think that's her Nova. Look at that smile. Oh. Always feels good to get Love the boomer. I'm looking at a similar distance to what she just did. Ooh, just put the Got some side. chains, but not enough. Did you have it a full open look or was it a little? It was a little obstructed. But when you've got trees on, you know, all the sides. Everywhere. It's, it's be, it'd be weird if, oh, look at the little smiley face in the 10. Haha. <laughs> There's so much to see on this course. On this hole, we actually saw a monkey in the palm trees. Yeah. Like it, or no, a raccoon, sorry. A raccoon in the, the tip trash of top. Panda. We've been looking for monkeys. We haven't found any yet. Those monkeys are I'm hoping in our nice. final round when we're out back out of here at Snyder, we find some monkeys. So Ellen with that birdie puts her back to one in a tie with Jess Kristen. And then I'm still at six on to hole 11. This is a par four, 360 feet. It's a really tough tee shot. You got to pick a line, either the right side, the middle, or there is even a left gap. And landing on this left side right about here is the best spot. And then you're going to chip around this beautiful tree that is blocking the basket right now. But there it is. Um, and yeah, this one is all about the tee shot, hitting that tight line and then also still landing in the middle spot to give yourself the best opportunity. And fighting the hill. That hill definitely pulls some discs to the left. Mm. Ellen going with the sidearm. It's going to be in the woods, but she might have somewhere to kind of get a flick out there. It's great just to even hit those gaps. I honestly never even saw that left gap. I've been going right gap all so, day. So yeah, I like the right 
the lift gap, but I threw that a little high, a little bit lower that would have pushed forward. So missed the line a little bit. Jess goes middle gap on the hyzer flip, and this pushes a little long, but she's got an easy step out that is going to put her, you know, she has a really good opportunity to birdie. Kristen goes the left route as well. She's the one that kind of showed me that actually in practice. I don't know if I would have seen it otherwise. But she hit a tree and kind of knocked down. So she's now approaching, trying to get to the pin. Definitely gets a lot of glide out of the disc and yeah. makes it all the way to circle one. She'll have a putt for that birdie. I'm a little pinched over here. I could go straight gap and just go at the pin, but I could hit early and be really far from the basket. So I opted to go around and just play it safe and I still have a putt, so we'll see. Ellen is a little bit blocked here. A little deeper than she, what she wanted to be. Looks like she's gonna go. Overhead Tommy. Love that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that happen when I was playing with her. What a technical shot. She's, it looks like she surprised herself. What a beautiful shot. And then Jess pulling out the Sonic, the magic disc. Oh, it's so good. Look at it. Look at that. Oh, wow. That that was close. Yeah. Almost goes in. Does leave her a little bit of a putt. This Sarah is for her. Birdie. Yeah, for Birdie. Oh, left side. This is for Birdie. Sarah for Birdie. From the earliest wow. lie, yeah, she got that kick down and then just pinned it all the way up there. Jess also for birdie. I like that hole. I think it's a, it's, it plays to a lot of different strengths and I like how you have to get a little bit of distance, but also still be technical. In bowling, you would have owed everyone a drink since everyone else birdied and you birdied. Right? Dang it, I would have gladly paid that. So everybody gets a stroke on, on me on that one and everyone's back to even, so that's great. Here we got hole 12, par three, about 255 feet. We do have a mando tree on the left, uh, up and right. You've got two gaps off the tee. You can go left gap right at it, or you can take that hyzer route on the right-hand side. Um, it is a little tough just to hit that first initial gap, but once you get through it, you're pretty good, and the road kind of gets a little smaller as you get closer to the basket, taking that OB away. We got Ellen with a forehand here. A little high. Makes a mando, but definitely not quite the line she was envisioning. Just trying to go around that right gap. Beautiful forward skip. Yeah, she's Heiser out pushes her deep, but she's got to look for a putt. I mean, that's a great shot. I hadn't really seen that line. Kristen just thinks the mando. Looks like she's still making it, so she'll be fine. Yeah. Throw in a reactor. And I think that puts you right in front of the Mando. Yeah, I didn't miss it yet. So I'm going to pick up the same disc and redo it. Wow, that's <laughs> a great flight. It is. Cameraman. Oh, you're going to stay there. I love that. Giving him some good tips on how to do his job. I love that. <laughs> Kristen with a great approach, getting all through those trees. Beautiful. Parked it. Good recovery. I know, I told Garrett. And Ellen's a little forehand up. Ooh, lean with it. That was good. Yeah, and that thing just sits wherever she throws it. It doesn't get a <laughs> oh, lot of ground. That was a flick. That was a different, a different angle. <laughs> Jess is saying she only gets one per round. And then I was like, but that was a putt. She can make a putt and throw one in. Like, that's allowed. I'm in nowhere land over here. Did you even see the basket? Um, barely. Oh. Yeah. That looked good from here. Right? It looked way better from here than it did from my angle over there. Just for her birdie. Yeah. Beautiful. Great birdie. Yeah. 
And as I was coming out of there, my hair got caught in this like pokey thing and I had to get help to get out because it was gonna just like rip my ponytail out. Ooh, that's the worst. I hate when it gets underneath the braids. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, oh no. You're just like in tangle zone. Person with the tap and par. From where she was at, that's a very good par. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she's solid. I, I enjoyed my practice round with her. So that puts Jess one down. She's making headway. And then Kristen and Ellen are even out of five still. This is hole 13, part three, 210 feet. It's straight as an arrow. There's the lines. You can take the right gap or the left gap, but you better keep it low because there's some stuff up high and not a lot of danger. This is really straightforward. This feels like a must get. Definitely feels like a must get, but there are a lot of trees in that initial freeway. But it's only 210. It's like, it's like an approach shot, right? It's so easy. It's just right there. It's so, disc golf is so easy. It's so you know? easy. You just have to throw it in. Jess looks like my overstable driver, and she hit some tree, and she'll have an approach here. Ellen with a standstill, love that. Nice little flip. Sit down. Bales off to the right. She'll have a look though. This is one of those baskets that's slightly elevated, just enough where you have to think about it and adjust. Kristen throwing, going mid. It looks like. Straight up the gap. She's close. That's a twenty footer. Going reactor again here? Yes, ma'am. Love that high gap. No, you don't. Nope, There's don't trees there. <sighs> There's all these, like, look at those trees. They're, like, just uh, shooting out of the top of that thing. That's the cool thing about the foliage here at Florida is it's just weird. It's coming out every which way. There's so much foliage, though. It's really cool. I really like playing down here. It's like being in, like, on a tropical island. Except it's Florida. Except it's, but you can drive here. Yeah, you don't have true. to like take a boat. But you could also take a boat here. Okay. Ellen. Oh, chain out. Good adjustment for the height, just right side. It feels like she's finding her stroke now, right? I mean, she got that great putt. Kristen, just super simple. Dead center. Jess with the par save. Ooh, lean. Love how she leaned, but that really helps it stay in. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta believe, man. Oh, hands out. It's like when you're bowling. If you Just lean, believe. if you kick, right? that's, those pins will go down. Yeah. Forever kicking. Forever body English. Good little short hole thrown into kind of. Yeah, good Kristen stretch. with that great birdie. Catching up with Jess there. Hole 14, we've got a par three, 263 feet. Mostly just one main gap to hit. I have seen some people go wide right, but for the most part, it's gonna go sh straight, if not a little left at the end. No OB to really worry about, but if you go out early left, it's, it's tough to keep your par. Really beautiful. Look at me, just look at the foliage out here. And we haven't seen any iguanas, but they're everywhere on this course. See, born and raised here, the iguanas are no better than just rats to me. You know what? <laughs> Whatever. You and your privilege, your iguana privilege. Does the backhand here going a little high? I like that though, it's gonna get down there. Yeah, so you know, look. she's pin Ooh, high. You don't have to throw it to goal. the pin as long as you get yourself inside the circle, right? I mean, Kristen's inside the circle, Jess just threw a great shot, shot inside the circle. Ellen's forehand here, okay, I like it. I am surprised at the forehand too. here too. She's been throwing a lot of backhands lately. I would think she would go Does this place backhand. to a backhand for sure? I'm throwing just like a crazy line with an ascend. Um, it's squirrely, it's got a turn. And it turned too quick. 
does keep you in the fairway. Mm, I got lucky there. Double kick into the fairway. I'm gonna have to change that for the, for the next time we play here. Maybe back hit? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, that's a great run. Definitely gives it the height it needs. So the ascend I'm throwing, that shot I'm throwing is a, a risky line. So I just gonna disc down just and just not, not throw to the pin, just throw the fairway. So I'll, we'll see what I change it. Kristen for birdie. Shorts it just a little bit. Right I like line. the height she gave it. And now Ellen also with the birdie look. Definitely not the easiest spot to be in. What? Beautiful. Wow. Gets all the glide out of that disc. Mm, she's feeling it now. Just with the another birdie. Just with three birdies already in the back five. She has turned it on. Ellen also matching those three birdies. Interesting. Her par. It's not a not the easiest hole. It's straightforward, but a lot comes into play with the ceiling. Definitely yeah, the any trees. early kicks, you're screwed. So now everybody's under par. Yay! I love that. Let's go on. Uh, we're on a hole 15. It's par three. Four. This is actually a par four. I know it says par three, but that it's they changed it. It's 342 feet. I know it seems like a short par three, but when you see this green, you'll understand why. So, I mean, you take a long approach, you can take the far left side. Really want to just throw straight. If you cut early too much off the tee, you're going to end up in the woods. So, and then approaching this tiered green is very difficult there's like three different lanes so um it's a par four and we're gonna see if we can get to it it's a fun hole though i definitely think it's a great hole yeah just coming in a little bit early she's probably good that it hit that tree i think she might have been in that right rough ellen with a four and two hitting that gap a little high gets around that tree yeah oh she'll be in a great spot yeah, they changed it to a par four after all the cards were done. Yeah, it was originally listed as a par three, but it was also originally originally listed as a par four. So the tee box <laughs> says it's the tee sign says par four. Kristen so, with a wide look. I love that. Definitely just take the trees out of play, have a great approach, take a birdie, go home. And then you're well, and also you're approaching that green straight away instead of having to approach it from a side angle. So I think you have more chance of sticking the green from a lie from over there. And I'm throwing just like a crazy skip shot through here, trying to make progress. And now I'm, you know, there's no chance of me getting up, like parking the basket. So I have to just hope I can make a putt. Whereas Kristen's kind of coming out, I feel like a lot straighter. I have to change my game plan after watching this. <laughs> I mean, she's local, man. She knows the stuff. Ooh, just clips that. Ooh, no, stop. That's not favorable. She'll be in a good spot though for that putt. That's that kind of corner-ish area. It's not, you don't think about the death putt too much. Just trying to lay it up and kind of pushes it a little long, leaves herself some work. And Ellen looking, you know, 20, 20, 25 feet uphill, death putty. Beautiful. Knocks Those it in. Those changes grab it. This is the, the three. Nailed it. This is a fun hole. I love when they make some sort of just different approach to the basket. Give me some steps, make it an elevated basket. Just change it up, make it different. Yeah, it certainly gives you something extra to think about as you're making your approach. And everybody talks about how putting is so easy in disc golf, and this is how you make it hard. You know, I mean, not every hole, but you know, a couple. A couple. Just a couple. give me some flair, pizzazz. Yeah, don't overdo it. <laughs> all right, so uh, Jess, we're all, we all, you know what? That was amazing. We all got the three there. Technically the birdie. And the they changed. do change the par, so it is a birdie now. So that's awesome. That was a great hole for the whole card. Hole 16, par three, 270. 
It's going to be kind of hidden that basket, guarding trees, fast ground play, and OB right by the basket. A lot of gaps you can go. I've seen a lot of people do the skip shot where you go out wide with the backhand. Um, Morgan today threw the forehand, through the left gap, nailed a car, and then came back and bounced. That's kind of a riskier trick shot, but you can do that. Certainly in play. And as you can see, there's a lot of cars on that left side today. Just looking to do the skip route a little bit. I think if you have got it, the right hand Heiser is certainly the play. And as Ellen is also going to try to show us. It's hard. That is just slightly uphill, kind of gets mm. in your head just a little bit. So here's Kristen taking that left route. Yes. Doesn't push it quite as far. Those cars to are To get to the scary. basket, but she's up there without giving, you know, there's no problem. She's inbounds, all good. I'm going to try to push that left side a little bit more. Oh, that's such a great And I flight. really like how this came out, but... Hit the tree and come back. Then hey. it hit the tree, <laughs> and then it hit the dude's tailgate, and it flopped in bounds. So, great. they Wait. are my new favorite people. Looks like a Nova flick from Ellen. Yeah, she throws that for, I feel like she throws that for almost every approach, backhand or side arm. That low ceiling by the basket is also very tricky on this hole. Kristen just kind of pitching up laterally and Jess from cir circle two puts yes. it in. Hands it. We had a pile up on hole 18s. We were all watching. Such a great putt. Look at that. Beautiful. Honestly, she didn't even need the chains. Just kind of just sat yep. right in. Perfect speed. Car. That's another really good disc golf hole. It's not too easy, but it is straightforward. Definitely, I like that hole a lot. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the Florida holes like are bring in challenge with the low ceilings. You know, you, you're like, oh, it's not that far, but when you have to throw it super low and that far, then and all of a sudden, and yeah, it's a whole different ball game. So Jess picking up a stroke on the card there with that huge putt, that was awesome. On to hole 17, this is a part three, 200 feet, play slightly uphill, OB all the way on the left side to kind of a plateaued green with some wood. That fence line you see on the left is where about the OB line is. Super fun hole, you just want to throw it in the basket. Just ace run it all day long. I love the pun there, because ace run, crap. I love that. <laughs> we were joking that that wood behind it looked kind of like a guillotine. Right. Oh, we are going way left. I love that. Skip shot. I probably wanted to put it down a little bit earlier to get that skip up there, but definitely taking the OB out of play definitely. by taking that righty, righty hyzer. And with the backhand. Oh, wow. That's going to be nice if it sits very nicely. Up the gut. Beautiful. What Thank trust you. she has with her backhand. Yeah, awesome. Kristen with a mid. Right at it. Looks like it might be a little less. Skittles out. She's going to have a putt behind the guillotine. Oh, behind the guillotine. Sarah, what are we throwing here? This is the reactor once again. Uh, right. Well, it was the reactor. Never to be seen again. Oh, there it is. I see it. That was the last time I've ever seen it just we now. We can get that. I can go is get it? that. Is it? Oh, I see it now. Shoes. If we go out in dark, it'll be glowing. It's one of those. Oh, it's one of those glow ones. Just making a little go at it. Sidearm. Kristen from about the edge of the circle. Oh, great! Puts it great in. Run. Not even a stepper. Just keeps her balance. Love that. I'm about 25. After taking relief. Beautiful. Saving your par. We can definitely get that disc tomorrow. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, I love that. I would like that back. I personally dyed that. <laughs> Shaving cream? Um, yes. Jess with her car. No, no, glue. Glue, not shaving cream. Ellen with the birdie, let's go. Love that. 
so two birdies on this one. And we got one more hole. One more. Just one. Here we got hole 18. It's a par four, 385 feet. We've got a mando on the right, as well as the road on the right. You wanna push forward as far as you can in a straight line and have maybe a little bit of fade if you're throwing a forehand or some turn if you're throwing a backhand. If you can get far enough down, you'll have an open look for the basket. This played as one of the easiest holes on the day. Hmm, interesting. So this is a check-in on our chase card. This is Morgan Lynn, who is minus seven through 17. Just pimping, that is, that's the gap. Gorgeous, simple, Op yeah, just opens gotta up get down there. And opens up that left side a little bit. But she's gonna take the, oh, she's taking a tiny gap. She said, I talked to her after this throw, I was like, why forehand, there's a backhand gap. She goes, nope, I'd rather hit the smallest window with the forehand than hit the biggest window okay. with the backhand. So Ellen up first, leading off this card. Oh, hits one of the middle trees, oh. kicks right, stays safe, but still has to navigate that Mando. Kristen yanks it a little bit too. Gets a good lot of love though. She'll be in a good position. That's good, yeah, that's like where I'd like my drive to land. Here we go, Jess, with a forehand. We can safely say it's a forehand roll. Just turns over just a little too much, but again, she will have a direct line for the basket. And this is a glow insanity. I it love comes that. Up, it came up a little short on the line I was looking at it, but it pushed through those trees, so. Did you lose that towel today? I think we found that. At, <laughs> it, it's <laughs> we found that today. No one knew whose towel it was. Well, if you ever have a question, any of those tie-dye ones, they're mine. Did you get it back? I did. Okay, good. <laughs> Jez with the forehand approach here. That's good. pushing a little right, and that's gonna put her out of bounds right by the basket. Though hopefully she can make that comebacker. It's a good part about par fours. Even if you make a mistake early on, you can still correct. Maybe you can still get that par. True. Kristen? Kristen, super simple. I love that. Touchy little shot. Just Leaves her really up. close. Ellen looks like her Nova again. Yeah, this is her third. And it's trying to put sit. it close. A little far. That didn't serve a one. That wood did not help. I like the wood. I think it's a good feature. Gives it a little, little tricky, but not making it too tough. I think it looks pretty, but it certainly causes certain different, you know, if you hit one edge of it a little different, it could give you some interesting ground play. So is this our birdie putt right here? This is it. After I kind of yanked my approach a little bit long left. Long is always better than short. At well, least you were strong. And certainly you when the road is on the right. When the road is short right, right long left is good. And yeah, putts, it's nice when they go in. My putt was feeling good today. Ellen, looks like it's stuck in her hand just a little bit too much. Yeah, sometimes those elevated pins kind of throw you off a little. It comes back to the bar. Just saving the car. That might have been her game plan. Just go hard at the basket, hoping for a stop. If not, she makes the park in my back. Yeah, I mean, as long as you go out right by it. And Kristen with that great birdie to finish. Just sneaks so in. So the local getting the minus three on the day, Jess also with minus three. Um, Six down. Yeah, I'm super stoked on that. And then Ellen didn't have her best day out there, but still under par. Yeah. And there's two more rounds. Definitely. Got Morgan in the lead with eight down. She just had a great time. She was on my card. We were having a great time playing, and she had no idea she was shooting eight down. Yeah, and then I mean, that's her one of her highest rated rounds. She said it was her best, and it was all bogey free. That's awesome. So up and comer, keep your eyes out for Morgan. And then we have uh, round two action coming tomorrow from 
Markham Park. Markham what do we have Park? to look forward to there? Water holes. Okay. Throwing over water quite a bit. A lot of OB, a lot of road, okay. a lot of wind. Well, that'll be a great battle. Thanks for joining us and we will see you next time. I'm Sarah. I'm Kim. <laughs>